Hi y'all, it's a new year, and what bourbons are you gonna drink this year? Today I will show you the must have bourbons that you need to have to start the year off right. I will be drinking as much as I can find these bourbons. They are fantastic. Most of the bourbons that I'm gonna cover are fairly easy to find, so you won't have too much problem getting them. I'm gonna go in price order from least expensive to most expensive. And at the very end, I'm gonna have our best bet for all of the particular bourbons. Let's get right into our first must-have bourbon. Early times, bottled in bond. This is a really hard to find, inexpensive bottle, has 100 proof, and because it's bottled in bond, it has to be aged a minimum of four years. So I've got some poured. Let's take a little smell. Mmm, boy, I can smell the honey. A little bit of orange peel in it. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, that's pretty good. For a real inexpensive bottle, that's pretty good. I can taste a lot of the caramel. It's got a little real good sweet flavor to it. So early times, bottle and bond. Hi y'all, Don here with Whiskey Sippin'. I hope you're getting something out of my videos. And if you are, help me out by doing a couple things. One, hit that like button. Give me those big thumbs up. And two, if you really like it and wanna help out monetarily, Become a Patreon member at the link below in the description. All right, next up on our list, Four Roses Single Barrel. This is a little bit more expensive than the early times, but not much. This one has 100 proof, and it's aged somewhere between seven and 10 years. And because it's single barrel, each one of those barrels may be a little different, and they tell you right on the bottom which barrel you've got. So let's smell it, see what it smells like. Ooh, I can smell a little bit of the oaky, but it smells more like an oaky caramel. I can smell some of the hints of citrus in it. Let's see what it tastes like. Man, that's a nice, really good flavor of caramel and vanilla. Maybe a little bit of honey in there. For an inexpensive bottle, only around $45 to $50, this is really good. This is also on my go-to bourbons list. You can see it at this link right above here. All right, our next must to have for the new year, Penelope Architect. This is a great 104 proof bottle. The age is not disclosed, so this Penelope Architect is really good. I've gone through a couple bottles already. Let's take a little smell. I smell a little oak with a touch of citrus. Let's taste it. Mmm. Almost tastes like French toast. With a little bit of orange in there, yeah. The nice thing about this Penelope Architect is the taste improves it each and every sip. Oh yeah, much, much better. Every sip it's going. Now price on this, somewhere between 65 and $70. This next one up is very exciting for me. It's Elijah Craig and it's their barrel proof. And on their barrel proof, it tells you what proof it is, the alcohol percent, and actually what batch it comes out of. So on this one, it's 121 proof. Let's smell and see what the nose thinks. Hmm. Smell a lot of apples and orange. Really overwhelming, almost an oak caramel type smell. Let's give it a good taste. Ooh, that's a rich, rich vanilla, almost a butterscotch flavor to it. and a good caramel taste. 
yeah, really, really. If you can get a hold of this, this is a little harder to find. Pick up not just one bottle, but two. All right, next on our list, we got Widow Jane. And this is a 10 year aged. It is a really good, let's take a little smell. Hmm, I smell the caramel, a little bit of the oak. I smell some of the vanilla uh, and it's just kind of smooth in between all of them. Let's taste it and see what it tastes like. Surprisingly, it's got a rather sweet taste to it. I can taste a little bit of cherry and orange. It makes it really good. This is a really good pick. Widow Jane runs 85 to $95. All right, we're getting to our last one of the must have bourbons for this year. Heaven's Door, and this is in the Decade Series. It's a hundred proof. It's a Bob Dylan bourbon. So it's a bourbon that Bob Dylan owns this bourbon company. Anytime of you know, older rock and roll people, we all know who Bob Dylan is. So hopefully, I know because I've already tasted it many times, but it is a good, really good bourbon. Let's take a smell. So on this, I smell the caramel, but I also smell mint and some citrus flavors. So let's take a taste. Oh, I taste pecan, some cocoa, and it almost tastes like peanut butter. But the best part about it is it just kind of rolls off the tongue. The cost on this is somewhere between 90 and $100. Best bet bourbon for this year is going to be the barrel bourbon. I love everything barrel bourbon makes, but especially this. This is their New Year version. They come out with this every year. It is a limited release bourbon. And right now, this particular one comes out at 113 plus proof. So let's take a smell. Oh, I smell a very, very classic caramel. I got some vanilla and a little bit of spice. Just take a taste, see what it tastes like. I like all barrel bourbons. To me, they're just great. This, I taste a little bit of black cherry. Has several spices coming through. This is one I could sip on all day and night. The cost on this, even though it is a very limited run, and it only comes out right after the first of the year, every year, it's only between $90 and $100. I hope you liked my video, and please remember, keep drinking, get some good bourbon. Till next time.